Hello everyone and welcome to another day of cooking. Today I'm going to show you my personal recipe for caramelized onions. For this recipe we are going to use 3 white onions, 3 tablespoons of brown sugar and 1 tablespoon of vinegar. So let's get started. As a first thing I'm going to switch on the fire and add a little drizzle of olive oil in a pan. After that we're going to carry on and chop the onions. In this case I'm going to do a fine julienne. And once the first time is sliced, I'm just gonna go and add it into the pan. And some salt right after. Now the reason why I'm adding salt to the onions is because I want them to sweat. And by doing that, they're just gonna prevent from sticking and burning. Now give it a good mix. and then carry on with the rest of the onions. Little more salt and mixing again. And then we're gonna carry on with the final onion. Now when the onions will start sweat, like in this case, we're gonna let it cook on high heat for about five minutes. Now when the onions are pretty much at this stage and they start to show up a little bit of golden, now it's time to add our brown sugar and the apple cider vinegar. And give it a good mix. After that, we're gonna turn the fire on low and let it cook for about five to 10 minutes, but make sure to mix it every other minute so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. And after about 10 minutes of frying, there we have it. Look at this pure gold over here. So at this point, if you want to get it more crunchy, more toasted, more flavor, just let it burn pretty much for another two minutes. But I like it this way, so I'm just gonna stop the cooking right now. After that, take a container, drop it in, let it cool down and then you can store it in your fridge for up to a week. It's delicious on pretty much every preparation. Have it on the side with some meat, have it in your burger, have it in your sandwich, you can, in a salad, you can pretty much have it everywhere. And uh, yeah, there we have it. Few minutes on hand, about three onions, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of vinegar, and there we have this pure gold. Enjoy.